A very special good afternoon to our viewers on Facebook and YouTube. I must apologize today that we have no Instagram. However, for our Instagram users, we will have this presentation uploaded later. I want to welcome you all to another Caribbean Chemicals Jamaica live presentation. And for today, we will be looking at Bamba Irish Potato and the CCJ Tuba Treatment. Presenters today are myself, Dennis Leckie, and Sian Spence, Product Development Agronomist from the Northeast and Southwest regions. Well, listeners, let us start a look at Irish potato. Most of the Irish potato that is produced in Jamaica is consumed locally. Just a minute amount, 1,693 kilograms, were exported to Canada, Cayman, St. Martin, the Dutch part, and also to the, the United Kingdom. Now, potatoes are actually very healthy. And, you know, some of the health benefits that can be achieved from consuming potatoes includes your maintaining healthy brain function, treatment of certain skin conditions, prevent and helps to reduce your risk of heart attacks, improves your gum health, supports a healthy immune system and also reduces stress and also helps to cure inflammation. Well, then it's just look at the health benefits. We want to look at more benefits. Now, it assists in disease management, diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure are common diseases that are present in Jamaica. So, by consuming Irish potato, you are you're helping to lessen the effects of these diseases. Now, agroprocin, it is used in textile, wood, paper. Also, it is used to feed cattle in Russia and Eastern Europe, Dennis. And from a social standpoint, it provides jobs for a lot of rural folks. Restaurants, hotels consume Irish potato in salads, soups, and stews. And even some rural families use Irish potato to substitute in their nutritional diet. Okay, so Sion, mm. our potato of choice and the potato that is on everybody's mind is the Banba Irish potato. And that is a potato distributed by Caribbean Chemicals Jamaica, supplied by IPM. Now, the Banba potato's features is an early maturing crop. Within 8 to 10 weeks, this product, this produce actually can be harvested. It's an oval to round potato with a yellow skin color. The flesh is also light yellow and it is a very high yielding potato with between five and nine tubers per plant. It's a fairly firm cooking potato so that means it won't mash out in the pot once you dice it up and boil it. It's suitable for the fresh market and it stores extremely well. There are also other characteristics of this bamba. It, is, it has good tolerance to drought and mechanical damage, good resistance to early blight and late blight, two of the most common diseases that affect Irish potato. A lot of farmers have reduced their earnings from Irish potato because there's a, there's a disease or a, known as common scab that affects the potato and Banba is tolerant to this disease. It is also immune to the wart disease. And guess what, housewife? It is uniform in shape. And the taste is creamy and buttery. Anyone who tastes bamba always wants more bamba. Now, in growing bamba potatoes, there are some conditions which must be met for optimal growth and production. Now, the climate tends to be between, or the temperatures tend to be between 16 and 27 degrees which is usually during the planting period of October to January and in some areas March to May. It prefers daylight hours that are shorter so you need a longer nighttime period soon. as well and then once you're planting your potatoes we want to recommend that farmers plant at about two inches deep and what we also recommend is that the farmers can place fertilizers in the furrow lightly cover the fertilizer with soil and then plant your potatoes on it and then now what that will help you with is that once the seeds have germinated 
and the roots start to go down into the soil, they'll immediately start to feed from that fertilizer that was applied. Hold, hold a minute here, Dennis. You, you, you are going to mention seed condition. I want you to explain to our farmers why they should only plant seeds that have been sprouted. Okay, so the important thing there with planting seeds that have sprouted is that if it is, and, and what, we, what, what usually happens when you plant seeds that are not sprouted, we call it, you're planting a blind seed or a blind potato. One of the risks with planting a blind potato is that if it is that there is heavy rains and there is no germination from that potato, a lot of times it tends to become waterlogged, water soaked, and as such rot in the field. So a lot of farmers suffer from that issue. Also, because it's covered under the soil, it reduces the, the potential of that potato to also sprout. As, as well, in the planting practices, you want to ensure that you turn the sprouts upward. You don't want to turn it downward because once you turn it downward, it, the, the plant has to use up a lot of energy for that sprout to grow down and then also come around that potato bit that was planted. So it uses up a lot of energy there and as such it might not survive to grow above ground. You also have the risk, especially in a big potato, that with the rainfalls it soaks on the cut piece and as such leads to rotting. Well said Dennis. Now farmers, let us look at soil. The bandback can be grown in a wide range a wide variety of soils but you need a soil that is well drained that is loose that is going to help you to develop your tubers in terms of ph you need a soil between five to seven land preparation should should have started from early august to september in terms of slope you need a flat gentle slope that is ideal that is going to help you to carry out your cultural practice in the most efficient way in terms of drainage the drainage should be put in a head of planting and try to avoid land that is prone to flooding or soils that are waterlogged. And Sion, you mentioned starting land preparation early, but what would be the main benefit for farmers out there starting their land preparation from as early as August into September? Okay, Dennis. Traditionally, October is a rainy period. You want your soil to be properly tilled, to be properly rotivated. So if you have too much moisture, this is going to prohibit your tractor operator to carry out the most efficient land preparation. And also, you need soil to cover the bamba at planting, as well as you need soil to mold your bamba. So by having this proper land preparation, you're making preparation for the ideal conditions for your bamba to grow at its maximum level. And one of the things that farmers could look at with the early preparation of land still is that they could actually plant a leguminous crop, so a peas or beans, that would fix nitrogen into the soil and thus provide more nutrients for the bamba potatoes ahead of planting. Well said, sir. Now, Dennis, you know that at Caribbean Chemicals Jamaica, we take pride in field work. We go out there, we do trials, we do demonstration. I want you to explain to existing farmers who are planting Irish potato and also to new farmers who want to plant bamboo. Some of the work we have done and the results that we have achieved from these field demonstrations. Well, with CCJ being a trial, demonstrate, trial and demonstration company at heart, especially for the PD department, we have found yields of between 15 to 30 to 1. So this means pretty much for every bag of potato planted, a farmer can harvest 15 or 30 bags of potato. And we have had yields, exceptional yields, of up to 35 to 1. So for an average farmer, a 15 to 1 turnaround in your yield is what is easily done. Using the CCJ program and crop care program, a yield of 30 and up to 35 to 1 is easily possible. Now, we had a friendly competition amongst uh, the different territories and farmers where we looked at their production yields from planting bamba potatoes. And these are just some of the results. For, so we had a farmer in St. Andrew who planted 43 bags of potatoes and received 59,000 pounds of potatoes as their yield. We also had a farmer in Clarendon that planted 40 bags of potato and he received 
45,000 pounds of potatoes as their yield. And then in St. Mary, we also had a farmer that did 60 bags of potato and received a yield of 65,000 pounds from that crop. Now, Sion, hmm. based on these productions, we also have excellent testimonials coming from farmers who have done this or planted this crop over the years and seen the results and are willing to plant again. I just want you to touch on one such farmer. Well, there is one farmer, Miss Boris, from Northern Clarendon, up in the hills of Clarendon. And she has been growing Bamba Irish potato for, for the past three years. And she's very pleased because from the one bag she planted, she received 20 bags. And it also is an early maturing variety in 10 weeks. Normally, other varieties take 12 weeks. So she's going to spend less in terms of, of her cost of production. And she continues to get valuable support from Caribbean Chemicals Jamaica Dennis. And that is it. Once we have a farmer planting, we try to support them right through the entire growing process. So make note of your agronomist and keep in contact to, with them throughout the entire growing period. Now, the Banma planting material that you will get when you purchase it from CCJ or one of our farm store partners is going to be about 75% seeds that will not need to be bit. So these are seeds that you won't need to cut, you can just plant straight. The next 25% may need to be bit depending on the farmer preference. Some farmers, however, prefer to plant them even if they're a bit larger in size. And as such, what they would get is just more sprouts from that one particular seed potato. Each bag sion has between 250 and 350 seed material. And, you know, usually though, you know, one, it, it, the seeds are imported frozen. Mm. So they tend to be dormant at delivery and may need up to seven days to break dormancy. And also what we ex tell farmers is that you need to spread out. Once you receive your, pla your planting material, you need to spread it out in a room that is cool and well ventilated in order to allow it to sprout before planting. Now, there are some farmers that beat their bamba seeds. And there are certain precautions that you need to take. Firstly, use a clean, sharp blade. And you need a 1% bead solution. That means that each time that you beat, you're going to use this solution to clean your, your clean sharp blade. Also, you must cut from the top to the stem end. You don't want to damage the seeds. You have spent money to buy the seeds, so you want these seeds to be producing. And after each insertion uh, you have made to the potato, you, as I said before, you need to clean your, your implement with that 1% bleed solution. And now the bits must be stored in a well-ventilated, cool place and they should be left to air dry. And you need to spread them out, farmers, after the bits have been treated with a CCJ tuber treatment. So remember those precautions, please. Okay, so Sian, let's move on now to the foliar nutrient requirements. And I will touch on the Miller product line. Now, among the Miller product line includes your Nutrient Express, Cytoplex and green stem, and these three products in combination, especially in the earlier stages of your crop, so your first two to five, six weeks after planting, are excellent because you know our green stem is our anti-stress product. Our nutrient express helps to give you that good root development and give you that healthy developing plant. Cytoplex also will then give you a good stem development. Mm -hmm. You know help with that branching and that plant to get bulky real fast cytokine also a transition from cytoplex to cytokine to continue developing your branching and having a lot of leaves on your plant and then also to start your tuberization process and your root development because remember what potatoes are and tubers the tubers are are modified roots that are used for storage so the more healthy roots the more storage roots you have is the higher your potential yield at the end of the day now sugar express last but not least for the last two to three weeks of your crop life you can use sugar express and what that will do is actually help to give you bigger healthier tubers you know more uniform size and as such potentially higher yields 
Well said, Dennis. Now let us look, look at omics. With OMEX farmers, you are going the distance because you are placing emphasis on quality, efficiency, and OMEX is versatile. Bio 20 is going to help you with root development, leaf development. That 5% kelp seaweed extract has anti stress properties. So, for a farmer who has planted potatoes now and is going through a rainy period, it's going to lessen that effect of the rain on your Irish potato. Now, Fortify has in phosphate and phosphide. So the phosphate is going to help you with root development. It's going to support your tubers. And the, 40, and the phosphide builds the immune system so you have less fungal attack, less early blight, less late blight. Calmax B has in calcium and boron. So the calcium is going to stretch the cell wall of the potato. You're going to get a bigger potato. Also, it's going to incre increase your shelf life so you can have this potato stored over a longer period and the boron is going to maintain the shape. Now we have follow boron that has in 15% boron and you will apply this prior to, to furring because furring helps indicate that your potato is now starting the tuberization process. And most definitely, Sion, as you mentioned, with Calmax B and uh, the strengthening of the cell walls, you know, this would also reduce your risk of splitting, cracking, um, help you to improve your storage life as well as better shipping and, um, and, and, and movement from farm to plate, you know, without the bruising of potatoes. So that's also an exceptional use for Calmax B. Now, the Aga Leaf line, which is one of our newer product lines available from Caribbean Chemicals Jamaica includes your root max, green max, and nutrimax. Now root max would be used earlier in the crop life, you know, that time when you want the good root development, you want the stem development coming up from the, the, the potatoes. Then you incorporate in following that your green max, which would help to give you the foliage, give you the nice lateral branching, because you know, nice healthy plant with green leaves is going to give you increased chances of production and then Nutrimax which is a 2020 blend this one now is a good overall product that can be used throughout the crop life to give you that extra boost in health and production now we have our two blends of fertilizer we have the elixir blend and the abodam now the elixir which, which is very soluble compound fertilizer at planting we can use your 1627. That 27% phosphorus is going to help to promote root formation. At molding, at, at around five to four weeks, you can apply your 72030 because that high percent of phosphorus and potassium is going to help in the process of, of tuberization. Now we have the Abodam line. We have a 142814, 15535, and 112222. And we have slow release nitrogen. You want your nitrogen to be released slowly over that 10 week period in your bamba to maintain the green leaves as well as that chlorophyll, which is important in the process of photosynthesis. So we have some very good fertilizer lands here, granite lands here at Caribbean Chemicals, Dennis. Okay, so after completing your, your, your nutrient treatments, we also have a couple major diseases that we have seen over the years affecting potatoes. And one bacterial, one fungal. Now, in this case, the fungal disease will be Phytophthora. And for us here at Caribbean Chemicals, we did the trials, we did the demonstrations and found that Zampro combined with Saita provides excellent control of Phytophthora. So applying this, especially in the earlier stages of the crop life, you reduce the risk of having Phytophthora issues in your crop. So this is an excellent combination, your Phytophthora, um, for Phytophthora, Saita plus Zampro. Now for bacterial wilt, which is also another major issue, especially at times when you have high rainfall, and you know a lot of times, you know, anywhere the water flows mm -hmm. through your field, you tend to and you see an infected plant 
every plant below that where the water flows tends to have that bacterial wilt issue and it spreads rather rapidly through the field and at the time that it has been infected they really and truly can't do anything to stop or prevent or even heal the plant because that bacterial disease is going to be there and reduce your production and potentially kill your plant we have sulcox in combination with green stem and fortify so you know sulcox bactericide fungicide early out in that first two to four weeks after planting and the plant has sprouted above ground you come through with your sulcox bactericide fungicide treatment with green stem your anti-stress you're giving the plant a better nutrient package to help improve the immunity and ensure that the plant is strong enough to fight off anything that may come at, come at it as well as fortify which has the nutrients but you know the phosphates and phosphites but it also because of the phosphites gives you that antifungal treatment and protection so you're getting an overall healthy plant that will fight off any potential bacterial and fungal disease that may attack it now let us look at caribbean chemical jamaica tuber treatment first we use it prior to planting before we you are, before you are planted. The main aim, one of the main aim and objective is to prevent fungal diseases and attack from insects, especially fungal diseases. Irish potato is very susceptible to fungal diseases. It also increases um, sprouting. You don't want to plant, as I said, then it's before a blind seed. You want to plant a, a bamba seed that has sprout. And it's, it is suitable for all wood crops, whether you're sweet potato, your ginger, as well as your dashi. Excellent, excellent, Sian. Now, in terms of the CCJ's tuber treatment, we have two options, and I'll mention one. The option one would include uh, an insecticide, fungicide, soluble fertilizer, or foliar, foliar fertilizer, and biostimulants. Mm -hmm. And these would be your insecticide, diazinon, at 10 mil, Acrobat, at 10 gram omex at 15 mils cytokine at 5 mils and green stem at 5 mils and all of this in 3.8 liters of water and then you treat your tubers farmers we also have an option too that also contains insecticide carotrax 5 mils or, or one teaspoon a fungicide zampro it's a systemic two element with two elements two active ingredients um that it contains at a two teaspoon as well as the soluble fertilizer kickstar 12488 and the biostimulant cytokine we're going to help to promote root formation and green stem the anti-stress and all that is placed in 3.8 liters of water or one gallon excellent and now we are pretty much at the end of our presentation and you know at this time we'll take any questions that you may have as our viewers and also I will have two questions for a giveaway or for two giveaways and you know I was told uh, that it's a very extra special giveaway so we want the farmers to you know the viewers out there to, to take part sending your answers as quickly as possible and get your free tokens from Caribbean Chemicals Jamaica. Um, Dennis, I see on the viewers would like to know when are you taking Banba orders or? We, we are presently taking Banba orders, listeners. There's also a special, Dennis, I think if you purchase before, make a payment before the 5th of, the 5th of, of October, October. Yes, yes. you'll get a special. So. You can contact any one of the reps or the office. We are taking orders. Yes, 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 certainly. You know, try and get at get, the moment. Try and get to your agronomist um, or contact the office before August fifth for that special discount on the prices for your Bamba seed potatoes. Just to mention here, Georgia, hmm? Irish potato is that like good goal now. It is scarce on the market. So farmers, as Dennis said, it's a first come, first serve basis. So you need to get in your orders now. Excellent. Um, there's also a question. Where are the local outlets um, in the Maypen area? But I will answer that for you. Um, 
We are located in Kingston. However, we have agronomists, technical sales agronomists and product development agronomists in the Maypen area. So if you want to contact the technical sales agronomist, it's Mrs. Robinson at 876-564-3865. If you want to contact Mr. Parker, Mr. Parker is the field person. It's 876-560-1651. Or you can reach out to us at Caribbean Chemicals Jamaica at 876-757-0022. We open at 8 and close at 4 p.m. I'm not seeing any more questions. Dennis, do you want to ask your question? Okay, so there being no other questions, the first question for our giveaway is how many bags of Banba seeds do you need to plant one acre? Once again, how many potato bags of banba seeds do you need to plant one acre? The next question is, what combination of CCJ products are recommended for the treatment or prevention of Phytophthora? Once again, what combination of CCJ products are recommended for treatment or prevention of Phytophthora in Irish potato. Okay. Um, while we wait for the answer, Dennis, I just want to let the viewers know that there's a calendar cover competition for 2023 going on. So, you know, every year we create the famous calendar, Farming Today calendar. So we have a competition going on in the Caribbean. First prize, 800 US. Second prize, 500 US. Third prize, 300 US. So we are looking for an image that reflects Caribbean agriculture. The image must be an original captured by the person submitting the photo. Image can be taken in any Caribbean island. Uh, this is a great competition. I wish I could win that one. Right. So if you go to our Instagram page at Caribbean Jam, you will see what do you need to enter the competition. Okay. Um, Mr. Lawrence Fagan said six bags. I am sorry, but no, it's a bit more than that one. Come on, try again. Come on again, Mr. Fagan. In, in the meantime, I'll mention some of the upcoming events. I would like for you to all to note and tune in to Power 106 FM every Wednesday for a regular feature, Farming Today with Caribbean Chemicals Jamaica. And this is from 6.18 to 6.45 a.m. On Tuesday, the 27th, at 9 a.m. or between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m., we'll have an Omex promo day, and this will be at Superfeeds and Agri Enterprise in Osborne Store, Clarendon. And then on Thursday, 29th, at between 8.30 and 3 p.m., we'll have a store day at Superior Farm and Garden Center, and this will be in Morant Bay, St. Thomas. And then once again, on Thursday, the 29th, at 10 a.m., CCJ will participate in uh, uh, Agri Expo Day, mm -hmm. and this will be at WNB Enterprise. And then on Thursday, 29th, once again, at 10 a.m., CCJ will participate in a SDC's um, RADA partnered farmer training mm -hmm. session on crop care and chemical use, and that would be at the Marywood Primary School in. St. Elizabeth, so that would be your training session, Sion. Yes, then it's up in the hills of northern St. Elizabeth. So come out all you ginger, pineapple and dashing farmers to that rather SDC collaboration training. And we'll be there from Caribbean Chemicals with our little, our little tent, our little booth, show you our different products, explain to you how to apply these products, when to apply. Also, we are stressing farmers that we also need to protect ourselves. So we have a new little kit here at Caribbean Chemical, Chemicals, um, Denny, sorry, that Jacto oh, uniform, suit. yes, suit. saying to the farmers, protect yourself. So make contact with us. It's minimal price that you're going to pay for that Jacto suit. To what, to, to, if you don't use it, you might be paying seven times the amount to do a test to find out what you have. We have to protect ourselves, Dennis. True, true. So farmers, make contact with us. Miss Robinson is, is here. You can call her. She she will make all the arrangements to have you purchase that Jacto spray suit. Excellent. 
Okay, Dennis, we have a winner for the second question. Um, Stevie Henry said Saita and Zampro. Excellent, that is correct. Repeat the question so others so can learn. That question was what combination of CCJ products mentioned in the presentation can be used for treatment or control of Phytophthora in Irish potato? And the answer is Zampro plus Saita. And for this one, we have received excellent results, not only in potato, but in other crops, your solanaceous crops like your peppers, your tomatoes, etc. So this is a very, very good product, especially now when we're in for some rain over the next couple of days. If you can get your spring done today into tomorrow with some Zampro and Saita, expect excellent results and protection. Okay, so I'm going to ask Stevie to send an, a WhatsApp. So 876-401-4766 so we can get the gift to you. There's another, well, the other person said 10 bags. Still not ah, there yet. 10 is getting warmer. <laughs> You're getting warmer, but you still need to go a little bit higher. And remember, it was a range. I said it was X amount to Y amount that you need to plant per acre. So come on, try to remember. If you get anywhere in the middle of that, those two figures, we'll still give it to you. So come on, let's see those answers come in. There's a question. How should you plant in heavy soils? Okay, so if it is that your soil is like a heavy clay, especially for farmers in my territory in Portland, St. Mary, we recommend that you try and get your land preparation, especially for you, as Sia mentioned, your land preparation needs to be done early. And this is so that it will be well aerated and loose. So typically, from July into August, you need to start preparation and have it completed by September, you know, so that and cut your, cut your furrows, ensure that it is loose, well drained, because also a lot of times those soils tend to hold a lot more moisture. You, especially in those kinds of soils, you don't want your furrow to be too deep and you plant too deep in the furrows, because if you have a lot of rain, in the bottom of the furrow you might have a lot of moisture settling and as such that can help to rot your seeds you know so that is a, a, a thing that you have to be wary of have to be careful of when you're on heavy clay soils but definitely for you farmer with that question contact one of your agronomists the, the list of agronomists is up at the moment you can have a look get the number for the agronomist that is in your particular territory and contact them, have them come take a look at your property. Remember, this is free of cost. We travel to you at no cost. And once we come and visit you, we can give you the necessary advice that you may need in order to alleviate any potential problems. Remember, at Caribbean Chemicals, we provide solutions. Okay, so they're attempting to answer question one. Lawrence Fagan said 12 bags and Nicola Walker, 13 to 16 bags. Okay, so... It looks like we may have a tie there, Georgia. <laughs> um, you know, we, 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 it's actually 12 to 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. You know, so we'll, we'll accept the 12 and the 13, 14, 15, but not the 16. Yeah. You might be a little bit <laughs> overboard there. However, you know, and, and why we have that range of 12 to 15 bucks is because in a lot of cases, it, your, your land prep, so whether it was a tractor that prepared your land or it was manual right. forking that prepared your land, you may use more or less because you might cut the furrows a little wider or a little more narrow. So that will determine you having more or less potatoes per acre and also the amount of seeds that you bit because from the bag you may bit less or more and as such you may have more or less bags per acre. So 12 to 15 is about average. Yes. So I'm going to ask what both persons to send me their contact at 876-401-4766. Just to add here, Dennis, you spoke about um, the drains. Also, farmers, sometimes you also have to re-examine the construction of your drains. If you are ha having heavy rains, Dennis, you might have to open the drains a little wider for the volume of water that might enter your plot. Excellent. So true, Sia. And that is especially important going into this rainy period. Period. 
Okay, I'd just like to thank all of you for participating and taking the time out of your schedule to share with us today and to get some of the information regarding Banba production or Banba potatoes and the CCJ tuba dip. And we'll encourage you to come share with us, learn, re-watch our videos and remember Instagram peeps, we will upload the video for you so don't feel left out. That's it, Sian. Yes, Dennis. All the best. And Take send care. Sending your bamba orders. And please, farmer, send in your bamba orders yes. and enjoy planting bamba for this Irish potato season.